Scrapwood challenge, scrapwood challenge. It's crack, it's crack, it's firewood, but some of the wood is good. I thought I'd start by showing you the prototype. I've spent the best part of a day making this. It wasn't easy and I almost gave up, but I kept going and I've got it working pretty good. Now I'm going to take it apart, take the measurements off it and make a better one. Here I'm pressing nuts into the holes I just drilled. I could have used threaded inserts, but as I don't have enough without going out to get some, I thought I'd manage with these 3 16th machine screws. I'm supporting the end of the arm by clamping it in the vise, otherwise the end of the arm would almost definitely crack. I'm making a couple of cuts into all the nuts so when I glue them in place the epoxy has something to grab onto. I'm probably going over the top as the nuts don't need setting in place super strong but it can't hurt. Now I need to make brackets to connect the arms and to move things along I'm going to prepare the wood the quick way.
It's starting to come together. Next, I'm going to make a lower bracket to attach it to the base. While the glue's drying on that bracket, I'll start making the base. I've just drilled three holes in this bracket. They're all different sizes. This one is to attach this arm with the machine screw. This is for a piece of stainless steel bar and the springs will get attached to that. This one over here, that's for this arm. That gets attached with the machine screw too. But because my machine screws are 3 16ths of an inch, I don't have any imperial taps. So I've just drilled that hole at four millimeters and I'm going to screw that straight in. I've tested it on here and that is more than strong enough for what I need. There'll be two springs on this bottom section, one either side, but this bar on the bottom needs a groove cutting in it so the spring can't come off. I've done the same on the top, I've put a bar through there and I've fixed the other end of the springs with the screws. Next I'll prepare the wood ready to make the cone.
I gave it 10 minutes for the glue to take, then removed the wire and clamped it back up again. While the glue's setting on the cone, I'll work a bit more on the arms. I want to hide this cable underneath this arm here. I'll cut a channel in there and glue it in. It'll come round. I need to drill a hole in this bottom arm here and put a channel along there and do the same. Then I need to drill a hole through this support so it comes out underneath and then cut a channel so the cable comes out the back. I cut the clearance on the front of that support, which was wrong, it needed to be on the back, but no big deal. Now I need to add some weight to the base to keep the whole thing stable and to do that I'm going to use some 10mm thick steel. It's just over a kilogram, so hopefully that should be heavy enough. That works fantastic. I've used the spring clamps to get just the right weight. Now I have to make the cone and the light fitting together weigh the same as the spring clamps. The spring clamps weigh 257 grams and the cone has got this extra piece on here that I used to chuck up in the lathe but I weighed that first, it weighed 50 grams which is just about the same weight as the light fitting with the bulb so that eliminates that. So let's weigh that and it's very close so I think I'm happy with that and I think this should work. I've just cut the final piece off camera, it's to connect the cone to the lamp and now I'm chopping out a mortise so I can glue that in there.
I think it'd be difficult to replicate this from my measurements, but I'll share them with you and I'll put a link in the description below. I think there's a few things that could affect how it would work, like the strength of the springs, the weight of the wood you use for the arms. But my measurements will give you a starting point, but don't expect it to work perfectly. There will be some trial and error involved, I'm sure. I'm very happy with how that turned out. It's maybe even my favorite scrap wood challenge yet. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.